Oh, hello. Um, I've just bought this old melodeon, Hone melodeon. It's two row and it's got eight bass buttons and it's in the key of C and C sharp. Uh, and I think it's probably 1930s kind of era. It has got uh, on the back here 1916 scratched on the back but I don't think it's uh, from 1916. I think it's a bit newer than that. Anyway, but this is what I bought. It cost me 60 quid. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and restore this fully um, and make it into a, a nicely playing melodeon. Now it has got quite a lot of damage. So first of all, um, all the keys on the triple side have been pushed in. Maybe you can see, but they've all been pushed in. Uh, so it's kind of a little bit of damage in transit when it's delivered. So when I try and play it, it's kind of playing notes without me pressing any keys. So what's happened is that some of these keys have just been a bit pushed in and some of the, uh, the notes are not playing properly. So I'm gonna have to sort that out. The, the, um, the finish is peeling off here and a bit missing there, so that needs sorting out. The bellows, you can see, need to have some new bellows tape and also some new bellows corners, so that'd be something else I'll do. Um, on the base end, so it's quite a mess. On the base end, one of the buttons has been replaced with a, a little block of wood. So that needs to be sorted out. So all together, it needs a full strip down a full rebuild um, and what I'm going to do is is do some videos showing the process of getting it from this hopefully into a nicely playing melodeon. But the first thing I'm going to do now is show a few bits inside so I'm going to take it apart a little bit and just have a look. First I take the grill off so if I just turn these little screws here hopefully there we go take the grill off just comes off. There we are. You can just see the pallets, which move when you push the button. So that's um, that's all looking quite good, really. That should be able to be worked on. I'll probably put new pallet uh, leathers on the inside where it touches the the base bit up there, so that could be replaced. Also, have to sort out that bit there. The, the keys. Now have a quick look inside. So to do this I'm going to have to take off the bellows pins. So I'll just do it, do it this way. I'm going to pull out the pins. So here comes one. You need a special pair of pliers. That's one. And I've got a little diagram on the bit of paper to show me which ones have come from where. So I'm going to make sure I put the pins back in the same hole that they came out of. Let's take this one off as well. One goes there. Spin it around. Two more bellows pins. There's one here. One's come out, so that can go there. And the final one. That one, so that one goes there. Right, let's have a look inside. This is a quite interesting bit now. You can actually see what the reeds are looking like inside the accordion. And this can be a bit tricky. get this apart, particularly if it hasn't been apart for 80 years or so. There we go. Whoa. Right. Now inside, have a quick look. This is a treble side. You've got two reed blocks with valves and reeds on. Now the good thing is that these reeds and look in really nice condition, so there's no rust. So 
actually in really nice condition, no rust on them. Uh, the reed blocks look in nice condition. Um, and even the leather, the valves, look pretty good. So it just indicates that this has been looked after, uh, hasn't got damp and rusty. Uh, so that's a good sign. So all of these will be coming out, all the reeds will be taken out, they'll be revolved, rewaxed, and tuned up as part of the restoration. But that's a good sign. So that looks like it's going to be okay. Put that down there for a sec. And then you've got the base, the base reeds, which are just in here. And again, really nice, really clean, no rust. Uh, everything looks really tidy. So this looks like uh, it's been a melodeon that's been kind of looked after, not, not kind of damaged or, or neglected. It just needs a good old sort out. So in the next few weeks, what I'm going to do, I'm going to strip it all back uh, and I'm going to get this restored into a nice, hopefully, a nice melodeon. So I'm going to just leave this video here. If I just put that back on, that can just sit on back. That just for a minute. Uh, I'll leave it there and in the next video, I'll, um, I'll go through the beginnings of getting this sorted. So probably have a look at the bellows and have a look at the keyboard and things like that. So that's just for now. And then I'll do another video uh, on the next stage of the restoration. Okay, thanks for listening.